They were banded just like this. It's a case researchers in Nova Scotia wanted to crack, to whether microplastics are finding their way into this East Coast delicacy. We wanted to, uh, to study this, uh, knowing it's important uh, for, uh, you know, Nova Scotia and Atlantic Canada. So they cooked the, the lobster, the then analyzed the, the tail meat using a special dye that binds to microplastics, then glows under fluorescent light. The result? They were present in like 100 percent of the lobsters. And most of the microplastics were uh, the tiny microplastics below four microns. There's a female. And it's not just in lobster. Other studies have found microscopic bits of plastic in other seafoods too, and in meats and beverages, all coming from discarded plastics, fishing gear, even what we wear. We've shown that the plastic pollution crisis, uh, you know, isn't just removed from us. It's not just like out in the ocean. It's also ending up on our dinner plates. What that does for our health, the researchers say, is still under investigation. Microplastics have been found in our own bodies, and some observational studies have linked them to increased risk of cancer, cardiovascular and reproductive issues. Our dependency on plastics and plastic materials for convenience has just uh, grown exponentially since the 1950s. Even with good intentions to find alternatives at that scale is really quite difficult right now. He says the world needs to find ways to reduce reliance on plastic. The United Nations has been trying to establish a world first treaty to cut down on its production, but so far that has remained out of reach. Heidi Petrachik, Global News, Halifax.